Alright, you two have been noticing a lot of people have been searching for and watching videos about uh, copper tube uh, alcohol stoves, you know. And uh, I have a video up, you should check it out right there. It's one I built a little while back now. And uh, I got some copper tubing here that uh, I made out of originally. And so, uh, one thing about the, the alcohol stove, of course, is bending the tube to get it into the shape that you want it to be. And of course, when you know when you bend soft copper tubing like this, it has a an ability to crush in on itself and completely seal it off. And so, one of the techniques what you do is you stopper up one end of the tube and fill it up with sand, and then stopper up that end, then bend it around whatever you want it to do. That's one technique. Now, another technique I heard about, I read about online. I haven't seen any videos about, so let me know. Is filling it up with water and freezing it. Then bending it, then heating it up, getting the water out of there, and then there's your there's your tube bent. So I haven't seen any videos about it. I want to try and make a video about it. Uh, this is a you know one of two parts. Uh, click over here for the second part whenever it gets uploaded, and um, this is the first part. I'm going to fill it up with some water, freeze it, you know, and uh, as you can see, the end of the tube here is just I, I just bit it off with some uh, some wire cutters, you know. I don't I, I can't find my uh, pipe cutter that gets a nice clean cut like that one. Uh, so, but that's nice because it seals it off already. So we got that end sealed off. And um, one thing I, I read about also is like ice cubes. If you want ice cubes that are nice and clear and they're real solid, you use hot water and freeze it. And somehow it removes all the, the, the air bubbles out of it. I don't know. I'm going to try it with the tube. I don't know. It, maybe it'll make the water more solid and more, you know, less crushable when you go to bend the tube. So I'm going to use hot water. I don't know. Turn the faucet on here, get it nice and warm, nice and hot, as hot as I can get it. Wait for it. All right. I'm turn it down kind of low. I was playing with this tube earlier. One thing I noticed: once you put some water in this tube, it just locks onto it and doesn't even doesn't even let it move around. You got to tap it real well. Make sure you get all those air bubbles out of there. And just keep filling it up. Keep going. I'll show you here in a second. I'm also curious if freezing the water in there will make it split the tube open or what it, what that will do. So we'll let you know what happens to go with that. Alright, so we get it all in there. I'm going to show you real quick. You can take the tube, turn it upside down, and no water will come out. Because it just sucks right in there and just holds you know the the vacuum of of the water in there just holds it right in there okay so we got it pretty much full I'm just going to take it throw it right into the freezer try to keep it uh, upright so no water leaks out of it put it right there next to the Tostitos pizza rolls you know just throw it right in there that's what you gotta do just try and get it there we go that'd be perfect there's no water you know if the water drips down just a little bit this is the part where we're worried about crushing anyways so yeah that'd be good so yep as you know, click the annotation for the next video. See what happens. We'll let you know. And, uh, you know, if it's not up by the time you watch this, you know, just wait a little bit and uh, we'll, we'll show you there what goes on. Thanks for watching YouTube and, uh, you know, subscribe, like, comment, all that other stuff. We'll catch you later.